Hi everyone, it's Alan from uh, the Worldwide Catalina Pacific Company back with tutorial two, uh, what to do, what to expect after you've uh, submitted an application. You'll get a uh, automated email back just uh, giving you the information uh, that was in the application, payoff, term, fee, uh, etc, etc. It's all there. Um, next after that, once an agent has processed your application, you'll receive a email uh, stating as much. Uh, the um, account number should be in that email. Uh, just some basic information. But one, once you receive that email, it means that uh, the account's all been set up, all the account data is in there for you to look at, um, payoff, everything is, is there, uh, monthly payment amount. And most importantly, that your, uh, your aircraft should be available to you. Um, so you should be able to log in uh, and go to you know wherever whether it was to you or to one of your groups the aircraft should be available and there is my new twin otter all set for me to start flying assignments in the uh, Pacific Northwest so um, my next question is okay what's my payment where do I make the payment when's it due what's the payoff etc so We'll go answer that question by going to the uh, www.cpc.com website and we will go to the accounts page. And the accounts page might take a minute to load depending on your internet speed and we can go down here and chances are if you've looked at it pretty quickly after getting your uh, email confirmation it's probably going to be one of the last accounts. Um, you can see that here's the Haviland Twin Otter. Hasn't really been one other than this one, so this is probably my account. Although that account number should be in the email. Um, you can uh, start going over to the right. You can see the purchase price, um, down payment, amount financed, monthly payment, the date the contract was started, the maturity date of the contract. This was a six month contract and um, I've already logged one payment for purposes of this video I actually made a payment in FS economy and logged it uh, so that uh, just to speed up the process here but this is where you'll see the payments you've made go on up here and see payment one amount and payment one date and there it is um, the payment was determined by in this gray cell here, that's the uh, the monthly payment amount as determined by the down payment. And you can see this column will show you how much you've uh, you've paid on this loan so far, and this last number is the all important payoff number. Okay, so that's where you get all that information. Uh, now, what about making the payment? How do I make a payment? The answer is right over here in the side panel. Um, you make it to the group www.cpc.com loan payments here. This link will just take you over to a page where actually it just takes you to this page right here, log payments. So making a payment is two steps. You have to make the payment in FSC, the actual payment, and, and then you have to tell us you made it so that we can log it into our accounting over here so that we know when the plane is uh, or aircraft is paid off so we can get it transferred to you. Um, so I had to go into FS economy, uh, bank account, um, and I had to go to the transfer form and let's see I still have that on my clipboard yes there it is that's the uh, monthly payment amount I saw on the accounts page over there on the WWC WWCPC.com uh, website and then I'm going to type in the comment I want to include my my account number so I'm going to go uh, and there it is right there because I, I had already entered it so payment one account 333 account number is real important that we get in there and then that of course is to the group ww all the all the groups are wwcbc.com so you want to get down there um, and it's loan payments here wwcbc.com loan payments here and i've already made it so i'm not going to hit transfer i already made one payment so there you go now once that payment is made go over here to the log payments and I need to tell WWCPC that I've made a payment. So I enter in my account number, 
333. The agent that set it up, and that was on the accounts page, told you who the agent was right there. Um, payment amount, I still got that on my clipboard. Uh, the comma's okay here. Payment date was today. And you want to tell what payment it was. That was my first payment, and I would hit submit. Again, I already submitted it. Now, it takes uh, five or ten minutes, something like that, um, for it to show up. It, this isn't. This doesn't go from here to this table on this web page. This submits it into Google Docs, and then Google Docs it has to get, um, you know, recorded over there, and then electronically it gets sent back over here. Not confirmed yet by an agent. Um, this will be blank. There will be no agent's name here. That'll just show that you logged the payment. Um, I do see some. Uh, customers put in duplicate entries. Uh, just do it once. Once you hit submit, it'll go in there. Um, and, and I think it's probably because of that lag. So don't come back for a while. If you want to confirm it, come back in about 10 minutes or so. And you have to close it and and, uh, and reopen it or just refresh it. But there you go. Count 333, Alan. There's, there's the, um, that's the agent name on it. A little confusing because I'm the customer and the agent here. Uh, there's my payment. The, the date and it is my first payment and this again would be blank um, I would come back in 10 minutes or so and this this would be blank and, and this would be here right after I submit this this won't be here this record will not be here it takes about 10 minutes for it to show up now I'm waiting for an agent to actually log the payment into our uh, general ledger and once they've done that they'll put their name here and this tells you that this payment has been logged, which means that you would be able to get a reflection of that in your payoff. So I come back over here, go down to my account. Again, this is some time later. And now I would be able to see that I've paid off 17% of the loan. Um, this is how old the loan is. It's only 0% because we just opened it. Uh, green is good. Red is not good. Red means that you're running behind. As you can see, some folks running a little behind up there. I can go all the way to the right, and I can see how much I've paid and what my payoff is. So that is how you make a payment um, on your uh, aircraft loan with the uh, Worldwide Catalina Pacific Company. Hopefully that answers all your questions. Uh, anything else, uh, you can email me, uh, admin at www.cpc.com. And uh, as always, uh, thank you for your business. This is Alan from the Worldwide uh, Catalina Pacific Company. See you, uh, see you around FSE. Bye-bye.